about to enter the what used to be the what the ugly room it was an ugly, she called it the ugly and room. now is known as the swan room and so uh, we have the swan indicating the swan room and but none of that matters because what we're really going into is the linen room that's right yeah that's right. so so we yeah whatever you call it it's the linen room so all right so i know that this is here let's just let's just kind of are you gonna pan pan there's uh there's trouble in that cabinet because that's all the banding yes yeah. now what do we have over here okay oh, boy. more more linen more all right linen. let's start over here okay well this is um primitive hair up, up top i can see the printed all the printed fabric and she has lots of different now look at this with the roses on it and I know the primitive hair has um, certain things they sell for it but I I think these are just beautiful and if you're creative this one's got the pirate ship on it what, what size is that what is this it this is 30 count um, 30 count well how big is the piece are the pieces that, that... well now you're gonna make me look yep I am it doesn't say so it looks like it's Anyway, it's a piece. It's a piece. So who knows? Yeah. I, I, that's uh, that's trouble though. That is, because I think you could do some fun stuff with this. Like the royal bee, can you see that yeah, one with the yeah. bees on it? Any of those bee patterns oh, that pull are Pull that one out, yeah. Yeah, look at this, look at this. Again, 30 count, a nice size. So all that, it's, it's that primitive look all imprinted on the fabric. Right, and see the bees on there? Yep. Let's look it over on the other there side. We go. There you go. Wow. So that's beautiful fabric. Um, and there's all kinds of this stuff. Right. And oh, here, look at this blue oceans and skies, 30 count. I wonder. I bet. I wonder how variegated it is. Okay, this is tells you the size. Eight and a half by 16, 18 and a half by sixteen. So a nice chunk of fabric. Yep. Here and here's here's some people who like halloween mm -hmm. there's nothing on the back there it doesn't say how big it is but i'm sure it's pretty she probably does it pretty standard Oops. yeah yeah nice nice so then down in here we have 30 count which is a fun to stitch on if you're doing some sort of drawn thread or pull thread work because it's a nice count easy to see and it's legacy linen which is lovely oh victoria sponge cake Ooh, look at that color fat half and I like legacy linen I think it's lovely to stitch on um, just beautiful fabric and okay this is uh, this is cocoa I don't know who cocoa is by 36 count oh so this is 36 fiber on a whim fiber on a whim this is that dark blue but there's also fox and rabbit underneath here so you could What's, so this one is fox. Um, oh, that's fiber on a ram. This oh, there's fox and rabbit. No, fox and rabbit on the top here. That's it. Yeah. Fossil. Mm -hmm. Fat half. What count? And then this is some of fox and rabbit's um, flannel flower, which is modeled. Which people, I mean, it's a pretty. Uh, I think I see it as a kind of an off-white, very neutral color here. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, this looks like even weave, Ada, down yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, she said, it, I remember her saying that uh, all this was even weave down here. Beautiful colors. Here, look at this one. Yeah. And, and some of these, you see them, um, Robin was looking at a piece of fabric. Tempest, picture this plus, 16 count, fat half. And she was, she said, oh, I love it, I love it. I couldn't think of anything to do with it. And then she sat on it for a while. I think she's got an idea for a piece <laughs> of fabric in here. So, and then these are the sassafras samplers um, and some um, Dutch dalliance with the, you know, kitted up with the needle point. Yeah, yeah. If you order, uh, like, Mabel too, she already has it kitted up with MPI silk. So you can, uh, this is Christian Henry here. Right. This is Mabel right here so she already has them kitted up so you can order it and and order the silks and right 
let's move let's move Christian Henry where he belongs. Or you can come to the store and get the chart and yes. silks. Yes. 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 So it's all here. Whatever works. Right. Her. I think this is not working. I think it already fell over once, so we won't <laughs> turn it. So. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Now here's here's another. We talked about uh, Alice Allen Usher. Here's another one that will give you a whole bunch of alphabets and borders. Yes. There's another uh, that whether you stitch the sampler or not doesn't matter because it gives you so many things to work with for other pieces. Right, and these borders, they're just yeah. beautiful. These are all fairly standard Bristol. I think they're all Bristol look, at least. This is a br definitely a Bristol, yeah. yeah. That, oh yeah, because there's the little Bible. Yeah. Yeah, but that's another one to have, just to have alphabets. Yes. Yeah. All right, and then she has her um, Inspirations Magazine. If you never, you don't receive it via, um, via mail yourself, you can come and see what there's in the in the magazine and yeah just buy your subscribe own copy. just subscribe yeah, you should you should just subscribe. i have this one the kit <clears throat> oh you have you have that kit i have that kit well what's your hold up uh time <laughs> <laughs> all right then over here okay and these are cuts of 36 well there's some 37 38 legacy linen up here beautiful fabric um, fat halves, fat quarters. And then down below, these are 36. Well, here's a 32 weeks die works. Um, but what well, she said, 36 and 40 count up here. Looks a lot of 36. Yeah, a lot of 36s, yep. Very pretty. And then down here is more 36 and 40 on the bottom row. Yeah, pretty colors. Pretty, pretty. And then there's more in storage, so you know if if you if you come in and buy all of these, there's more. There's more. There's yeah. More. Well, okay. here's okay. for for example, here's yeah. There's there's yeah. There's plenty. There's plenty. There's plenty. Yes. Oh and oh wait 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 stop. Oop. This is extra wide banding. Oh. Oh. Yes, that's not. You, I, we did not see this the other oh, day. Oh well, you did not see this oh. the other day. But look at that. Oh my. So and so thirty-five dollars a yard. Sometimes she said it has how many threads are. Some of the labels have that. Well, they, here, they all so look like 27, 26, 27, 28. 27 count, but sometimes she said that the count of threads from here to oh, here. So for, like oh. let's say there's oh. two hundred, I don't know. The I'm stitching guessing, area. The stitching yeah. area. It'll say it on the label. And I'm short, I have to get up this red one with the red okay someone and I can't who we were looking at that pattern yesterday that, mm -hmm. that had the Paris oh yes so what you do is you you know you stitch it on here and then you just fold it and and stitch the edges together right. to make a little purse and that uh, one two that's probably a foot foot stitching area All right, it says eight and a half eight and a half okay but isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Nice 27, 28 count. It'd be beautiful. Yep. And the edge is all finished, so I'd you like just a, stitch. Yeah, one of the red samplers. Yep. You know, do that on there. Oh, that'd be fun. All right. Oh, short. Don't fall. Okay, now this stuff we are just drooling over. Drooling. Yeah, this cabinet, when you walk by, you think nothing of it. And then if you stop, yeah. you won't leave. Right. And then they wanted you to see the. The knobs. Oh, the knobs? The oh, knobs. yeah. And um, I think Kim said they were, Everett was talking about throwing it away. And she said, no, no, no. And then this is a perfect use for this cabinet. This big old hutch. Yeah, so it's packed with banding. So here's the one we, we showed the other day. But then... So you've got this with a pretty, and it's a woven. But the three blues right there. Yep. I, what one of these did? Okay. That's 27 count, because that's the one I'm using. That's the one you're using? Yep. There's also one, oh, here's a pink with a little pink in it. Mm -hmm. And then red that's a bright one but here's a nice this is a lovely color of red yeah i like that better 
Yeah, I like this one yeah. a lot. That would be easy to match a thread to and yep. go to town and do a, you know, start doing one of the bristles on it. Just pull, pick and pull like Gary did with the red. You'd have a pretty red sampler. Mm -hmm. But there was another one we were looking at. Now, where was that? Uh, oh, oh, here it is. This is the one I was looking for. With the three colors. Oh, I just knocked it down. Yeah. A red, pink. Which I think is pretty. Yep. And that's what, that's like an inch and a half. Yeah. Two inch, yeah. Yeah. Keep that from falling over. Anyway, so she has quite a few. And then all these yeah. blue. And the, yeah, it, it, it's, um, there's a lot more than you think. And then this, this has got a pretty yeah. white. So if you can't decide. And then I'm thinking about taking AC Bluebird, her um, Kim Sassafras Sampler's um, Quaker Sampler. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't have a copy out here, but putting the Quaker motifs on this purple band. Uh -huh. That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. And we figured out, I think it's just wide enough. That, oh, that you can string them out? Yes. I think that's okay. just the right width. But yeah, lots of pretty colors. Oh, here, this is the one. Look at this. Okay, you do Halloween. If you do Halloween, look at that. Yeah, that's the perfect Halloween right there. Yeah. And there's a longer teal. I won't reach back for it, but there's another a teal one. Mm-hmm. So pretty colors. Just, you know, use your imagination for what you could stitch with these yeah nice bell pulls um uh, little ornaments yep. um string it along the uh, uh fireplace uh any any number of thing and then the center here is all these ribbons okay and i know these let's see where where's the uh, well this one here this is from the um her mad hatter um the designer did something with uh Oh, where are they? Here it is. Is this it? No, that's the spirit animal. I'm looking for the one that has the Mad Hatter in it. Uh, oh, Curious Sir and Curious Sir. Here it is. It was up high. So here's a package of them. But you can see the Mad Hatter, Cheshire Cat Tea. You know, and then it also comes... And these, these are the these are the real deal. These these, these ribbons have have uh, if I can show it have texture to them. I mean they're they're not just printed on there. No, and I've seen people um, on Instagram making like bags with them, taking them and stitching them together somehow and oh. making a bag with just the ribbons. Uh -huh. They're very sturdy, very sturdy. And then if you don't want to pack, like here's the a wide Mad Hatter. Yeah. Which is so fun. So fun. And then for my friend, uh, um, Vicky does, um, likes raccoons. Oh, okay. So the raccoons in there, that is so fun. Oh, is this an octopus? Oops. Calm down. Oh, I didn't see that. Look it at that. It is, up. yep. Yeah. That is cool. So this, yeah, this cabinet, this cabinet right alone here is, uh, yeah, it's yeah. packed. Yes, yes. And then we come around to this side. Now, also note, we've got some original samplers hanging on the walls. Uh, this is Marianne Frayne. That's charted. Uh, that's a, a charted, uh, Kim charted the uh, a piece off of that. But uh, that's a sassafras sampler. Um I forget what that one is. Oh, that one is um, Esther Benson. Esther Benson? Yes. Okay. And that's charted. And over here we have... Um, Mary Good. Mary Good. Here oh, go. yeah, there. And she has... Yeah, there's her. Mary Good. Sassafras sampler charted. Yep. 
and look at those Adam and Eve with their their little uh, checkerboard skirts. <laughs> <laughs> it's always comical when they have the Adam and Eve. Yes. All right, and then up here we have Rebecca Weddell. Weddell. Yes. Yeah. That's yep. It. And then these are these ones up. These fabrics up here are the um, smaller counts. So 45, 53, 52, 63. Yeah, you're Tiny, tiny. But the 45 is nice to. I like to stitch on 45 count. So you've got. Yeah, you're doing something on 45 right now, aren't you? Um. Yes, um, 17th century um, sampler, white work sampler, and then I'm also doing um, No Time Like the Present. Yeah. And so, okay, now Gary saw me show this the other day, and he said, okay, how much of that are you taking? And I, I looked at him like he was crazy. I thought there was just one. <laughs> I thought there was just one piece. I was going to fight for it. Yeah, but I, we said there's there's a lot. And there's also some in, of this black swan, which I think is just beautiful. Yeah. And 36 count. Uh, so 40, this, 40 for me. So you can 40. have the 36. I'll take okay. the 40. And then this is 32 down here, mainly. Yep. And then more boxes below. And more boxes below, in case you need more. Right. And then... One last thing is the, what, what we call this, the overstock? The overstock. So that's the uh, the big bolts. Yes. Uh, and they're our backdrop. Yeah, plenty of, uh, plenty. So that's the that's the linen room, or the, the, the swan room. The swan room. Swan room. So, uh, yes, uh, fun, fun in here, all kinds, all colors, all counts.